Good evening. This is Mark, our resident uh, artist. He does drawings downstairs on uh, the boardwalk, and he has a great talent. Of, as you can see, this picture of Prince. Uh, he's going to be talking tonight about what he does and what his background is and where he comes from. Mark, uh, so tell the people a little bit about yourself. Well, um, I'm a Long Beach resident. I've lived here most of my life. Um, went to high schools out here, junior high. Uh, been drawing since I was really young, you know, for, since I could hold a pencil, you know, that type of thing. So, so what do you see the future of Cal for yourself? Um, just doing more. I like to. I like working with you guys and, and connecting with the public and connecting the art to the public. So I, I want to do more events with you guys. Well, do you think the artists should be more displayed in Long Beach than they are? have been? Do you think there should be a, a movement that we can improve the arts with the community of Long Beach? Yeah, I, I feel like artists out here, they don't get appreciated as much, um, especially, you know, when, when considered for different events, you know, I run into people that say, hey, um, they look at they look, they'll look at me and they say, hey, we should um, do something with an artist at an event or something, you know, ideas and stuff, but I don't see it that much in the community, so we need more of that. Okay, so what would you want to tell the public about uh, how they can em embrace what you do and, and uh, how, what days you work or when you're not working with Cal, what other places that you uh, do your drawings? Well, I'm pretty much all over. Wherever there's an event, I try to make it out and you know, do my thing, you know. Talk about this picture of Prince. This picture of Prince right here, it's, um, it's I'm, I'm a big fan of Prince, so. I've, I've, I've done a, a lot of drawings of Prince. This this one in particular, this is during the musicology era when he was on tour with uh, Forum and everything. He was wearing big collars and things like that. So that, that look has to do with the, uh, that era. And what about this gentleman next? Uh, the next uh, drawing. The guy here uh, with the grubby the dirt beard. The beard? This no. one. <laughs> okay. Anyway, this guy has a beard too. No. This one? This was supposed to be. Um, I'm a big fan of comics, so X-Men, Wolverine, that type of thing. This was supposed to be a Wolverine type thing, but it didn't exactly come out to look like Wolverine, so it's, uh, a lot of people say it's like the black Wolverine. <laughs> so, yeah. This was, but this was inspired by the, um, the poster for the, the, the Wolverine, the movie that, that came out not too long ago. That's where the inspiration came from. And he, as you can see, he's pretty good at what he's doing. You don't have to go to Disneyland. You don't have to go to any of the amusement park to get your uh, drawings done. You come right down here uh, at Shoreline and we have him available. And also at the bungalow. The yeah, LR special event, Mark does his drawing. And he, he doesn't want to do them call him a painter. He's not a painter, he's a drawer. So I, I had to learn that. I told him he was a painter. Caricaturist. Yeah, <laughs> Caricature artist. And he treated me like a character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this other one right here. I don't know if people recognize, uh, if you watch Jimmy Fallon, the Roots band, this is the band leader of Questlove for the Roots. He's got the big fro, he's got the usually a hair, afro pick in his hair. <laughs> so that's what I can try to capture with this. What was that picture of the guy on the back side right there? He looks like Vicky a little bit when he had hair. This one, I got off of a picture, it's an old picture, uh, supposed to be uh, Billy Preston, like back in the day, back in the 70s. That was Vic when he had hair. This is supposed to be Billy Preston, this one. Oh, okay, right my bad. And everybody probably recognizes this, the Jello Pudding Pop guys, the Bill Cosby. <laughs> That's what this one is right here, the Bill Cosby. But back, I took it from a photo that I got from like back in the 80s when he was doing stand-up and stuff. So that's where he had an expression on his face and I tried to capture that in, in this one. But then, I don't know if you can see that good bit in the background, the controversy, you know, that's going on now. I try to put a little bit of the current stuff in the background. I'm just going to put that in there, huh? So, uh, this next picture here is, uh, who? This is that guy from Aerosmith, uh, Steven Tyler. Um, got the gray and everything. This is, I took it from a current picture of how he looks now. So that, that's what this is, Aerosmith, Steven Tyler. So come down here and get your drawing of yourself and so you can put it on the wall. And as you can see, his uh, dynamic uh, pictures that he's drawn here for us. He did one of me, and it's fantastic. You know, I 
I can't keep the ladies off me now that I have it in my car. <laughs> so it's a great picture. That's your ID now, huh? That's my ID. <laughs> my ID. I get a pass. Uh, this one, this is Slash from Guns N' Roses. So, um, yeah, this is, I think this is from a, a current picture as well, of how he kind of looks now, but he hasn't really changed that much from over the years. Now, the other guy, Axel, the lead singer, he's changed a lot, and I get a picture of him, I just didn't bring it. And then this last one here, this is, um, she goes by the name of Novena Carmel, and she is the daughter of Sly Stone. I don't know if anybody knows, she's... She's been in a, a band called Baby Stone, and I think she's in a band right now, I forget the name of it, but um, she's touring, if I remember right now, but she's sliced on the stuff. Yeah, so how can people get a hold of you for events, parties, and uh, different events that, that are going on throughout the city? Can you give me your, your website, your phone number? Um, I'm on Facebook under Mark M A R Q Riley. And I also have an uh, email, that can, uh, M A R C R I L E Y 1 at yahoo.com. And they can reach me through either of those two venues. Or you can contact Cal and we get a little bit for you and we can get him at your event. Thank you. Weekly Artist Interview. And thank you for watching Cal by the Shore and also Cal at the Bungalow. And look forward to hearing from this week your comments. If you have any comments, just put it on Facebook or YouTube, and me and Efren will uh, reply to it. Thank you for watching our video. Peace. Very good, very good, very good. <laughs>